you know, Zuna, you know, one of the great players, domestic violence, he never really played. Soroka, a really good young pitcher, Achilles, Turn and of course, right. Ronald Acuna Jr., one of the best players in baseball. Yep. There's his ACL, people are thinking, well, you know what? Turn right onto West Huron Street. And, you, know, we, you know, and they went and got guys like Soler, and boom, they win the World Series. Kudos to them. Yeah, they were under 500 for, for a while. miles. Um, Continue this, straight. This season and, and uh, for 88 fans, fortunate that they were in the, the National League lease yes. this year, because the, uh, the Phillies and the Nationals and the Mets were very disappointed. Uh, Marlins, everybody knows they suck. So, yeah, so uh, the season is over. Carlos Correa is probably his last game as an Astro. Hopefully, his next game will be as a Tiger. But of course, that won't be until 2023 because there's no season. Oh, come on. It's, it's, that's not a foregone conclusion. It's A lot of people are anticipating that, but uh, let's see what happens. It's a regional, it's, it's become a regional sport. The ratings, like, you know, teams locally. Yeah. You know, especially for things decent, they're pretty good. We're pretty good, you know, on sure. the Valley Sports and those type of places around the country. But nationally, if your team's not playing, no, very few people are watching. Well, I, I, I put that on the baseball major <coughs> itself. Yeah. Uh, you know, just the length of games, the pace of games, the shift, the, the, the lack of being able to market the biggest stars. And, and then the, the pitching moves. Speaking of garbage, uh, the Detroit Pistons, look, I know they're playing really good teams, but that shouldn't stop you from really shooting the basketball in the new They lose 117 to 89 last night. Uh, they shoot 32% from the field, 8 of 47 from three points. 8 of 47, and they're playing a team. Granted, Giannis is playing great, he had 28 points. No Chris Middleton. You know, uh, Dan Campbell was interviewed last night. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this is what he said. Sea of trash. Yeah. Sea of trash the wings. Yeah, so I'll get to them in a second as well. Can you talk about their shooting story? Yeah. 22 of 80 uh, besides Jeremy Gray. Yeah. <laughs> how about, how about, uh, Kane McDonough?
you think they got it perfect? I, I did. Well, I, I mean, I, I pretty much took my notes from yesterday. Well, maybe you're on the committee. Maybe you can play football. <laughs> you're like that little fickle. Yes. Asked, asked, asked about it. Yeah. Bar, did, did he play football? His answer was yes. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, we have all that. The wide nine. Other with news on the list. So it's November 3rd, right? And this already happened. I'm going to tell you what that is coming up next. Plus, an NFL player will likely spend a long time behind bars, and we'll also talk about that next. All right, we're going to send the ticket. This week marks the halfway point of the NFL season. I can't believe it's November already. We just mentioned that. And there's a big Sunday afternoon matchup between Green Bay and Kansas City. FanDuel Sportsbook is about to make it even bigger because FanDuel is giving new customers 31 odds on either team to win. That means you can win 150 bucks on a $5 bet. You can also play a same-game parlay. I think these are fun to put together. Take a look at it. you got Aaron Rodgers. You can put some uh, some money on Patrick Mahomes. There's a lot of things that you can put. All you got to do is look for the SGP icon, build your own, have some fun with it, and, and you'll learn why FanDuel is America's number one app. Some of the other reasons, it's easy to use. It's safe and secure. You get fast payouts, like getting paid in as little as two hours. Uh, see for yourself why FanDuel is America's number one sports book. Just sign up with promo code Jansen this week before Green Bay takes on Kansas City. You can win 150 bucks on a $5 bet exclusively on the FanDuel Sportsbook app. FanDuel Sportsbook is the official partner of 97. One. The ticket must be 21 or over. Present Michigan. New users only. $10 first deposit required. Must wager in designated offer market. Max bonus of 150 bucks. Restrictions apply. See full turn. Sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problems? Call 1 800 270 7117 for confidential help. 97. One, the ticket. WWJ AMI 50 Traffic Center. Roads are still accident free this morning. Slowdowns are starting to build as you make your way through the 275 work zone heading northbound near Eureka Road. Also, there's construction through Friday blocking the left lane and 10 southbound from Wasser to 8 Mile and periodic double lane closures and 59 westbound from North Avenue to Bermuda Lake. I'm Michelle Penny with traffic. <laughs>
consumer of science, and we get it. It's your business, and you want to be involved in all the decisions, especially who to hire. Then you need Indeed, the all-in-one hiring platform that makes it so easy to attract, screen, and interview candidates all in one place. With smart tools like Instant Match, you instantly get a list of quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed fit your job description the minute you sponsor a job. Spend less time sifting through resumes and more time saying you're hired. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. From city streets to bad roads. From Golden Warrior to Carpenter. There are some things you can always count. Like the reliability, durability, and power of Die Hard. America's most trusted auto battery. No matter where your journey takes you, count on Die Hard to get you started on the road ahead. Available at your local Advance Auto Parts and participate in CarQuest stores. Hi, I'm David All from All Financial. One mortgage myth that we hear all the time is having to choose between a 15 or a 30 year fixed term mortgage. At All Financial, we offer the modern mortgage to create a flexible term that fits your unique financial situation. Our team of mortgage experts are available right now for a free five minute mortgage review at 866 Call Hall. You can chat with us at callhallfirst.com. All Financial, NMLS ID 1467435, Equal Housing Lender. Intake two vaccines to help protect you this season flu and COVID-19. And now you can get both shots at the same distance. No more at cdc.gov slash vaccines. Your opinion matters. Call the D Las Vegas 97.1 The Ticket Studio Line at 248-539-9797. Book your stay at the D by visiting the D.com. The D Las Vegas, the home for Detroit sports in Vegas. 97.1 The Ticket would like to remind you that when you text the ticket, standard text messaging rates apply. Live from the Jamie Samuelson Studio, here's Tony and Jansen. who are responsible for the cow 
church burning and all the other damages that took place on Saturday. So the East Lansing police made a Facebook post. They said it's unfortunate that this post even needs to be made in the first place, but the behavior of these people are unacceptable and suspects identified will be located and will be held responsible. So they also posted, obviously, some videos and photos of post-game incidents uh, where you can see the people's faces quite clearly. And one of them is that video of this guy setting himself on fire as he sat on a lit couch that we discussed on Monday. So um, people, people will call those people out, I'm sure of it. So we'll see what happens. There is a Michigan man who spent 15 years in prison for a crime he didn't commit, and he is now suing the state. So a month after he won his freedom, Juan Deering filed a lawsuit against the state seeking just over $754,000. Obviously, to me, not nearly enough for somebody who spent 15 years in jail of their life for something they didn't even do, but he sought the money under the state's wrongful imprisonment Compensation Act, which allows people to qualify for up to $50,000 for every year they spent in prison. So that's exactly what he did. He took every single day he was there, and that's the total it came up with. Um, uh, he should definitely be owed that money. Plus more, I think. But um, you'll remember him. We talked about him earlier this year. Back in 2006, he was convicted of setting a fire that killed five children in Royal Township. But it turns out, after more investigation, he didn't have a fair trial, things weren't shared, and, and his conviction was tossed. He was just released, he's 50 years old, and he was released on September 30th, so, I mean, you gotta do that, uh, when, yeah, I mean, like, you, you can't get those years back. what everyone wanted to do. 
getting up next year. So we'll see. I think that that would be a better option, personally. I think if, if the choice. Yeah, so. but the teams. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Actually, actually, but it all depends on the element of fun. Yes. Supplements each have all very specific. Yes. So there's a new survey that found people over 30 who've been married before found that online dating is the most common way to meet people, which is not that surprising at all, especially now after the pandemic. That's how people are going out. That's how people are meeting. But what the survey found is that those relationships may not be as strong as the ones that start, you know, the old-fashioned way, meeting somebody in person. So the poll specifically looked at first marriages of people who met within the last two decades, and 12% of couples who met online got divorced within the first three years, compared to 8% who met in school, 7% who met at work, and just 2% of people who met through family and friends. So you have more, a higher likelihood of having a better, long-lasting relationship if you meet somebody through a mutual friend, through a family member that you do online. That's what the survey says. Survey says? Exactly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alton John is getting his own line of height glasses at Walmart and Sam's Club. This seems like a perfect fit for him, and I'm surprised it hasn't happened sooner than this, but the glasses are all inspired by his most iconic books, <coughs> and they're named by the fashion fashionista himself. Um, there's names like Rocket Man, A-List, Prodigy, things like that. He says he worked very closely with the retailers to ensure that the whole line is all-inclusive and there's something for everyone. Plus, not only will these eyeglasses just, you know, make you look cool, they're also going to, su to support his AIDS Foundation's mission. So, it's pretty cool. There's uh, Walmart is going to be donating a minimum of $1 million annually from the eyewear collection to support his foundation. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, cool all around. You yeah. look cool and it's going yeah. with good cause. Absolutely. All right, thank you very much, Heather. All right, coming up next. It's, it's Wednesday. It's time for the ride now. What's up, everybody? Nick Costos here with the Bed River Sports Betting Minute, brought to you by Bed River Sportsbook, Detroit's hometown sportsbook. Week 9 Pro Football Sunday, LA of the AFC, a two and a half point road favorite in Philly. Total of the game is 50 and a half. And I know Philly looked impressive last week destroying Detroit, but I like LA in this spot at anything under a field goal. I feel like this number's going to hit three at some point this week, so you'll be getting some closing line value, I think, if you can capture two and a half. I think LA's got the major advantage in terms of the coaching staff here, and I expect LA's quarterback to have success against Philly. Defense after he struggled for the last couple games. So the play early on in the week, week nine for football Sunday, LA and anything under a field goal on the road, Philly. That's it for this Bed River Sports Betting Minute brought to you by Bed River Sportsbook, Detroit's hometown sportsbook. Check out the latest lines today at BedRivers.com. I'm Nick Costos. Keep it locked here for more throughout the day. Must be 21, playable in Michigan. Gambling problem, call 1 800 270 7117. Oh, 
you still have to go out there and prove it. All right, Georgia steamrolled Florida with their defense on Saturday, scoring three touchdowns in the final two minutes on just two offensive plays. Stetson Bennett has been their starting quarterback, but many think JT Daniels will be needed eventually to score more points against a team like Alabama. Should Georgia just make the switch now? No. Uh, it is called MOB, Magic of Believing. And a team that develops belief in their quarterback, they, they, they develop the belief in, in the recipe that they've used to win football games. JT Daniels may be a better quarterback, but he might not be the better quarterback for this team in this moment. I would stick with Stetson Bennett. I would too, and you could argue that what happened, what happened in Michigan is perfect proof of, of that. Uh, here's the deal. The, the field opens up more when Stetson when Bennett's in the game, yeah. you know, because of his run, run capabilities. Maybe he's a better leader as well, and the fact that they've been able to do this stuff without a lot of their receivers, uh, you know, when they get their receivers back, they Turn may, left may, onto may, may be better. Yeah. There's some hallmarks to the 97 Michigan team with this team. Great defense, and I think the greasy Bennett thing is comparable. Agree, John? Not as, uh, not as a style of player, but uh, as a no. kind of hung around the program, waited for his chance. Oh, sure, yes. And in terms of getting it now, I don't know that there was right any controversy. There was no discussion after week eight of making a change at quarterback. <laughs> yes. Or, or Brady. I mean, he was yeah. in a discussion at the beginning of the year. All right, we're in the November. First rankings were out last night. We had Georgia 1, Bama 2, State 3, Oregon 4, which I'd like to see that. Tell me the four teams that ultimately make the CFP and how they will be seated. Oh, well, um, I'm going to say that uh, Georgia will be seated number one. Ohio State will be seated number two. Oregon will be seated number three. And Cincinnati will be seated number four because Oklahoma is going to lose. I, I think Oklahoma definitely has the ability to lose. They're going to play a really good defense in Baylor. And they're going to play Oklahoma State, but that rivalry has been a, a tough one for Oklahoma State. But I, I think Georgia's one, Oregon's At two, Ohio State's side. three. Turn I just right. can't get over Ohio State jumping Oregon after the loss. It, it's simply because it was in Columbus uh, to Oregon, and then Oklahoma's four. And I, I don't think Oklahoma is one of the top four teams, but they will have beaten Baylor. Uh, they, and, and I think they do that because of the change that they made at quarterback with Caleb Williams. I was surprised Oklahoma was ahead of Michigan. I, me too. I, I really was. We'll get into more of that in a little bit. But I actually think right the Lions are giving out the hook for that performance on Sunday. Losing at home 44-6 to to a reeling 2-5 and five team is as unacceptable as it gets. Was this the most humiliating loss in Lions history? Nope. <laughs> that would have been the 48-17 to 17 Monday night in three prime quarters time. Of the mile. The destination is on your right. Quadra Diggs starts it off with a pick six, and everybody thinks, oh, the defensive genius has this thing fixed. And then they lose to Sam Darnold, and it just was. To me, that was an embarrassing performance to start off the Patricia era, and it just was losing to a rookie quarterback like that in primetime. Awful. Uh, mine is, even though it was to a better team, and the fact that I was there has, is, is number one for me. Is the Thanksgiving game uh, when the Tennessee Titans just absolutely, you know what, the Lions. And I left at halftime. Is that the word you're looking yeah, for? Yeah, it was, it was, I forget the final score, but it was just embarrassing. It was uh, Chris Johnson and was it Wendell White? I guess. They just were running exactly. all Exactly, yeah. It was just Good ridiculous. Pull. It was like they didn't even show up for that. All right, all the focus for the second half of the Lions this year is going to be on them being the first team to go 0-17. Are you fine with the Lions going 0-17 if that's what it takes to secure the number one overall pick? Yes. <laughs> you don't like saying that. Yeah, you're right. I really don't like saying that. But because, to me, it's cool <laughs> now, Timido is by Proceed far and away, route. in my mind, number one pick Proceed in the draft. To the Everybody else is, you know, the second and third best Proceed players are route. like backs and backs and safeties and people Proceed like that. So yeah. that's why it's important that they get that number one pick. When you suck, you just suck. Yes. And I don't care if it's 0-17 or 1-16. and I'm not playing for the number one pick. And, and But if that's what they earn, that's who they are, then it doesn't matter to me 
if they're 0-17 or, or one or two wins doesn't matter. It, yeah. they're, just, they're just bad. In the end, it's it's embarrassing, but it's really just a cosmetic thing. If you get a 10-year uh, Pro Bowler in Thibodeau, who cares? Yeah. All right, the Cowboys, Rams, Packers, and Cardinals all have one loss in the NFC. The Bucks and Saints are close behind with two losses. All six will likely make the playoffs. Who will be the seventh NFC team to make the playoffs? I think it's going to be the Carolina Panthers. And that, that's who holds the spot right now. Right. Well, it's who holds the spot right now, but you look at their um, – you look at their schedule. They play the Pats, the Washington football team, the Dolphins, the Falcons, the Saints. Um, and that's the Saints now trying to figure out what they're going to do at the quarterback position and how they're going to generate uh, their offense. Um, it's a tough division to be in, but at 4-4, four and four, they've got a leg up on everybody uh, that would be in contention for that. And I just... I'll, I'll let you answer before I before I say anything more. I, I, still I mean, I know they're the leader right now. I just, I just don't see them. I, to me, the schedule is very, is going to be difficult.